India established its space program on 15th August 1969, 24 years before China. Though China was working on their space program since 1950s, official establishment of Chinese National Space Agency took place in the year 1993 alone. China quickly understood the importance of space superiority and started gaining momentum in their technological advancements. Just after 10 years of its establishment, Chinese National Space Agency sent first Chinese astronaut into space independently in the year 2003. Comparatively, India showed much slower but steadier growth in modern space race. As China was going for more aggressive mission to demonstrate their technological capabilities, India was working on developing cost-effective technology. China can support their space program with decently good budget due to its rapidly growing economy, but India still has to overcome most of its domestic issues, due to which their spending in space research is also much lower. According to IMF, CNSA or Chinese National Space Agency spends around 2 to 7 billion dollars annually on their space research. Whereas, ISRO or Indian Space Research Organization spends around 1.7 billion dollars. Despite of lower budget, India was able to de demonstrate incredible success with their technology. As of now, India's ISRO is the only government organization having a cost-effective space program which can support space exploration in long terms. Another reason why China is taking their space program so serious is due to security reasons China is banned from using any technology developed or associated with the United States. Till date, China cannot enter into International Space Station which is one of the biggest internationally cooperated science projects on Earth. This led to China launching its own space station Tiangong 1 and 2 in 2011, which by the way are open for everyone. In December 2018, China became the first country to land their rover on the dark side of the moon. With its over-the-top technology, China is also planning their mass mission called Tianwen in upcoming years. India came as an underdog and surprised everyone when they launched their first moon lander mission called as Chandrayaan-1 in the year 2008, which helped NASA finding water on the surface of moon. After Chandrayaan-1, India continued surprising the world, and in the year 2013, Israel launched its first Mars orbiter mission, also known as MOM, and sent Mangalyaan into Mars's orbit. They were successful in their first try with a budget of only $47 million. After this, India also broke the record of most satellite launched at once by launching 104 satellites into Earth's orbit in the year 2017. Unfortunately, ISRO's recent Chandrayaan-2 mission was a failure when Chandrayaan-2 crashed on the surface of Moon in July 2019. But with the cost-effective technology, ISRO has emerged as one of the most promising space research industries in recent years and has started posing serious competition to private companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin. They have even completed their first successful test of reusable launch vehicles or RLVs in the year 2016. And now, India is planning their first manned mission which is called as Durbanyan in the year 2022. So, what do you think? Who will dominate the future of space exploration? India or China? Comment down your answers below. And on this note, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to Science Today.